I just want a few seconds of your time to say thank you. Thank you to all of you, online thousands of you who are working across the Trust in its hospital sites and the communities of North Kirk, Lees and Wakefield in these most challenging times that we face with COVID-19. All of us are going above and beyond what is normally required of us in our day job and it is really inspiring some of the stories we hear about the way in which colleagues are rising up to those challenges. I also want to thank particularly those directors, managers and leaders of teams who are having to make some difficult decisions and do some things that have never been tried before in order to make sure that they provide that leadership to their teams both on and off site. So on behalf of the board, thank you very much for all that you're doing. Hello, my name is Simon Stone. I'm one of the non-executive directors here at the Trust. Obviously, we all applaud and are very proud of our frontline staff and the, and the service that they're delivering. But I just wanted to take a few moments to thank everybody else in the organisation behind the scenes, keeping it afloat, keeping it running efficiently. So there's some extraordinary work being done by, across the whole organisation. There are 8,000 of us and you're all pulling your weight in an enormously positive way. I'm very proud of it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amanda and on behalf of myself and my Trust Board colleagues, I'd like to send a very special thank you for all of you working across Trust Community Services. I'm especially grateful for the unwavering dedication and hard work caring for our loved ones. I followed Debbie Newton's posts on Twitter for a number of months now. It's really clear to me you've got tremendous spirit, exceptional bravery and immense pride in the work you do despite the huge daily challenges. My grandma is 95, she has dementia and she has been diagnosed with the virus. However, it gives myself and my family great comfort to know that she's being cared for by amazing people like you. I'm sure the community and partners all feel the same gratitude. Thank you so much and bless you all. Hello, my name is David Throssell and I've just been appointed as a non-executive director at Mid Yorks. Uh, but unfortunately, because of the current situation, I've not been able to get out and about to start meeting staff. As a clinician myself, I'm acutely aware of the pressures and challenges that Mid York's clinical staff from all professions are facing at the moment. Whether that's the practical problems associated with frequent donning and doffing of PPE or working in clinical areas that you're not very familiar with, the clinical challenges of dealing with a sometimes devastating disease that we're all still learning about, or the huge difficulties you'll all be facing in trying to balance your challenging clinical roles with home lives that have also been turned up and upside down because of Covid. I know that your response has been truly impressive and absolutely exceptional. And on behalf of the board, I'd like to thank you all for your hard work and for the sacrifices you've made and for your continuing professionalism, expertise, compassion and care under very difficult circumstances. Thank you and I look forward to starting to meet you as soon as I possibly can. Hello, my name is Gary Ellis. I was appointed to the board as a non-executive director in October of last year. I would just like to say now a massive thank you to all the staff working in adult community services. The current crisis must be so challenging and frightening for you all and your families at a time like this. We know everyone is aware of the great work being performed by your colleagues in acute services. However, please be assured, your contribution out there in the community, keeping members of the public safe in their homes and helping to give the breathing space so desperately needed to our acute services is both recognised and appreciated. How everyone has risen to such an immense challenge is something I personally will never forget. You have all showed what teamwork, dedication and bravery can achieve under incredibly difficult conditions. Please accept my thanks and appreciation for all that you have achieved and continue to do so day in and day out. A huge thank you to all of you that have made so many changes over the last few weeks, be that your day-to-day -day roles, your responsibilities or your departments. Your amazing teamwork has allowed us to be as prepared as we could be for these exceptional circumstances. Thank you, we're really very proud of you all and our trust. Hello there, my name is Stephen Radford. I'm an Associate Non-Executive Director of the Trust. I'd like to just say 
Thanks to all the staff for all their hard work, their dedication, and thank you for the commitment that you're making at this very difficult time. The pandemic is something that affects all of us, both professionally and at home. So it's even more difficult to make that commitment. I can only assure you that it's greatly appreciated by everybody who works within the trust, families that use the trust, and the public at large. So thanks. Please keep up the good work. And if at this time we continue to support each other and work in true sense of collaboration, I'm sure that we'll come through this successfully and all the better, stronger. Thank you. Hello. My name is Lenore Ogilvie and I am one of the non-executive directors on the Trust Board. As chair of the Quality Committee, I want to thank you all for the great patient care you've shown in recent weeks, on our three sites and in the community. I know you always strive to provide high quality and safe care, but you deserve an extra special thank you for going above and beyond in these challenging times. There are so many fantastic stories about the compassionate care that you've provided to patients and their families. You've shown commitment, resilience, and adaptability that is inspiring. You've done yourselves and the trust proud. And for that, a heartfelt thank you from me. And finally, you take such great care of patients. Please also take equally great care of yourselves, your colleagues, and your loved ones.